it's ellie and welcome to my channel in today's video is going to be a super exciting video because i am filming and letting you guys know my favorite netflix tv shows and movies so, so let's get started so i'm going to start with my shows um i have six favorite shows that i like to watch on netflix my first favorite show is the walking dead if you guys are not watching The Walking Dead, you guys are missing out. The Walking Dead is basically about zombies, a zombie outbreak. Um, and every character that is in this show is basically trying to survive. This show has been out, I believe, since 2010 or 2009. But it's a really good show, you guys. It has It's a really, really long show because it has a lot of seasons and episodes and all that stuff. But it's an amazing, an amazing show. So around this time, if you guys are trying to stay busy and watch something that is going to keep you entertained, trust me, The Walking Dead is the show. Um, my next show is uh, called Always a Witch. This is a Spanish show. It's in Spanish, but they put it in English. You have that option to put it in English. It's about, it's about a 19-year-old witch. She's from Colombia. And... Um, she was a slave and um, she happened to fall in love with a white man back in the at those times it was a crime so and she was a slave and a witch so the people in the town didn't like that so they wanted to burn her and from there she ended up um she transported herself to like another time of of the year something like that and then from there her journey started to to started so she was trying to survive it's it's a good show you guys gotta watch it it's really good i really love them and it's it's good i like it. my next show is going to be all american all american you guys i didn't think i was going to like that show at the beginning but my husband got me hooked on it and it's it's just amazing it's very it touches you like it's really good it's about a pro football player it's a real life story about the pro football player Spencer 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 Pacinger. I'm not saying that wrong. It's really good. It's about this um well he's a teenager, he's in high school and um he's in high school, he's a football player and when he was younger, he was 8 years old, I believe that dad left him and his little brother and the mom. And then from there he's very he has this anger inside because the dad left him and because of that he 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 tried to help his mom because the mom is a single mother she works hard a kid trying to help the mom and it's it's a really good movie you a show you guys gotta watch it um but it has a lot of it's a lot of action it's it's very um it's very sentimental but at the same time it's a really good life story and it's really good i really recommend it and i hope you guys watch it and it'll keep you entertained it's and especially it's a life it's a i love real life story shows because i don't know some scenes people can relate to it so i i love i just love real stand shows um my next show is called kingdom kingdom you guys i don't know about you guys but i love i love zombie movies i don't care if it's chinese i don't care if it's indian I don't care. I love, love, love zombie movies. This show is a Japanese zombie show. It's really good. It's, it's, I can say it's a little intense. Not a little, it's very intense. Um, it reminds me a bit of The Walking Dead, but in a super different kind of way. Um, well, it's about zombies, but the Japanese, they got the little Japanese outfit and all that stuff, which makes it pretty, pretty cool and interesting going to be an outbreak in the royalty in the royal kingdom and um the king becomes infected and then from there it goes on and on and on and on um one of the main characters is the prince the son of the king who doesn't know that the dad is infected so he's trying to find out what's going on and the one thing is that if the king dies the prince becomes the king but um you guys gotta watch it it's it's really really good and there's there's a lot of blood by the way so 
this is not for kids none of the shows that are here that i'm telling you guys about or movies are for kids they're all for grown-ups so just to keep you guys entertained when you at home okay next one is next show is sabrina i love this show um it's a very dark magic show evil but it's really good it will keep you entertained all of the shows will keep you entertained but sabrina is really good um there's a lot of um eh, inappropriate things going on so um but there's a lot of black magic in it it's a lot of evil weird stuff going on in this show but i love it i love it because it's very different they they call it sabrina like the show from before but it's nothing like the show from before like it's very evil sabrina is a teenager who's in high school um she's half wish half mortal so she's trying to live her life in between the two worlds and then at the beginning she doesn't the her her aunts are making her go to um the witch school that she goes to but she doesn't want to because she wants to go to her normal school but then you'll see that she'll try to make it work with the two lives that she has it's it's really good there's a there's love story in it a lot of action um it's a really really good show i recommend it okay next one you guys next one is called neighbor this is a spanish show but you could put it in english and this show i'm telling you my husband found it i wasn't into it at the beginning but this is the most hilarious show i ever watched in my life well one of them um it is so funny i'm telling you it's hilarious um it's in spanish but you'll get the subtitles in english i'm not sure if they speak in english i i don't remember if i did that um but um it's really good it's funny it's hilarious if you guys want to laugh watch neighbor it's in spanish it's called vecinos but it in english is neighbor okay so next we're going to go to movies the movies that i love to watch the first one is the girl with all the gifts this movie i just watched it recently it's about i don't want to say zombies they seem like zombies but i'm not so sure because they seem like zombies yeah they're kind of like zombies kind of the same thing but it's another zombie outbreak but they're weird zombies i don't know uh it's another kind of zombie outbreaks but it's it's about a fungus that once they bite you something they'll either eat you or if they bite you you'll become one of them but it's about a fungus that turns them into that that kind of zombies that they are but it's about a girl it's about kids they're like in this place where they have them in like wheelchairs their hands are tied down and they're at the beginning it's a little bit confusing because they have the kids like in a military base that they are attracted to the saliva or the smell of the humans and then once they they smell you they want to bite you it's 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 weird but it's interesting and i don't want to explain all the details so that you guys go watch it it's called the girl with all the gifts it's a really good movie okay next movie it is the train to busan i hope i'm saying that right busan this is another zombie outbreak. <laughs> now I'm sorry, but I love zombie shows and movies and all that stuff. So this is a Korean zombie zombie outbreak, and it's about well uh, the, the zombie outbreak breaks right. So the um there's the main characters are a dad and a daughter, and um the dad and the daughter they're trying to get to the city that's safe, but before they get there they have to go through a lot and they really go through a lot but this movie in general has a lot of action you'll be like this sitting on your chair um but it's really good but it's a movie i mean i don't know how long it is but it's a very good movie you guys gotta watch okay next one is my next favorite movie is called napoli ever after this movie is very good you want to watch this movie because it's interesting you know i never seen a movie like that so 
I got my attention. This movie is very inspirational and motivational. It's about a woman that grew up um, with the idea thinking that by she wanted to be fixed because her hair was um, nappy and curly and she grew up with the idea that if she has straight hair, she she's fixed and, and that will make her happier. So her whole life, she had her hair straight and she would never let anybody see her as she was. She had curly, beautiful curly hair. And, but yeah, until one day, um, the husband, no, the boyfriend that she had told her, how come you never let your hair down? And then from there, she started to kind of like realize that she worked so hard to keeping herself perfect and, and, and having her hair straight, nice, beautiful all the time, that it still wasn't enough. I just love this movie because it um, is inspiring and it makes you... The message that I think about this movie is that to be yourself and love yourself for who you are. You could always give yourself a different look, change it up, but stay true to yourself and love yourself for who you are, no matter what God gave you, nappy hair, curly hair, straight hair, you gotta love yourself for who you are, and that's what matters, and yeah, but it's, it's an amazing movie, I really loved it, and find it very inspiring, alright, next movie is um, Scott Spencer, it's about, I love this movie because I love justice, and this movie has a lot of that in it, and a lot of action, and it's about this police cop, it's about dirty cops. And one of these cops, he's very, um, he's very fearless and outgoing and he likes to be fair. And he noticed that in the cops, the, the, the group of cops that he was work with, they were acting a little weird and there was a lot of bad things going on and he wasn't feeling that. So he would always fight for what was right and try to fight for justice and it's a really good movie there's a lot of action in it and then at the end of the day i don't want to tell you the end because i'll ruin it for you guys but it's called spencer it's a really good action movie about about being fair and about justice and fighting for what's right okay the next movie that i have is called if you guys are into love movies this one is called can help falling in love it's about a girl and a guy that um they are at a wedding i believe they're at a wedding and they get drunk and they end up getting married drunk okay so the next day this girl whatever she goes on with her life he goes on with her life it's also it was a really crazy amazing night right but they get married they're drunk they like each other while they're drunk and then whatever the next day they go on with their lives and um and then she went and got engaged with a guy and then before they were going to get married she finds out that she's actually married to this guy and she goes and looks for the guy and she's trying to conversate the guy's like in love with her right it's really good it's a really good interesting love movie it's very very sentimental and it might make you cry a little so you should watch it definitely All right next one is a call a bad mom's christmas this movie is hilarious it's funny it's sentimental has a lot of feeling in it and it's it's not really like much it's not like the first movie that they did it's a bit different because the bad mom's moms come from chris come for christmas and it changes the whole movie from the one from before so I love the fact that the moms of the bad moms which are a little bit bad too came into the picture so you guys should watch it it's really good and it will keep you entertained so these are all of my sh uh, these are all of my shows and my movies that I love to watch from Netflix these are my top best movies and show from Netflix um there are other ones that are good but these are the ones that i like the most so but i hope you guys can go ahead and go to netflix and watch some shows or something and uh, i try giving you guys things 
them, some of them I not know much about. Some of them, yeah, but those are my favorite ones. And I hope you guys can hopefully like it and keep yourself entertained around this time. Please let me know in the comments down below which one is your favorite one. Um, I really hope this video gave you guys some ideas for something you could watch on Netflix. And um, but yeah, that's it. I said we're done with the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys are new, my name is Elizabeth. You can call me Ellie. You guys, I would love to have you guys as part of my YouTube community. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you guys have any, any suggestions for videos that you would like for me to make, let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys on my next video.